arrived in the main lab or the main heart of S4S. So S4S uh, was originally known as Solutions for Snoring, which is the uh, sort of flagship products that we've always, uh, or area we've always worked in. Uh, we still manufacture the same uh, offering of, of snoring appliances that we have from day one as well as introducing a number of others. We've got the lab split into a number of sections. As we grew, uh, the, the type of products we were offering were more than just snoring appliances, more than just splints. Uh, and we now are a full auto lab as well. So I'm gonna go through each of the sections in the lab and uh, talk a little bit about what they are. So we've got the, the splints uh, team here. Uh, they're making a mixture of uh, anti-tooth grinding appliances. Uh, we do Michigan appliances, bite raising appliances, sports guards, you name it. Any form of splint, we're the guys who make them. And here we have the retainers department. Uh, so we do a whole bunch of aligners, uh, clear retainers. We offer our own uh, ultra strength Duratane retainers, which have proven very popular since we launched those a few years ago, uh, as well as uh, bonded retainers with transfer jigs, uh, full, full retainer offering. We use a range of pressure forming appliances to get the best results for our uh, suck down appliances. Uh, we use larger machines, mini stars, bio stars, and we've got a whole range of them. And the, uh, the final bank in the lab is our ortho and snoring department. So we do a full orthodontic offering, we do all the traditional appliances, we do custom ones to the clinician's specification, uh, we do all forms of wire, uh, any gold appliances, any, anything really that the clinician is after. We'll work closely with them and often recommend what we think would be the, the most suitable appliance for the job at hand. And last but not least, we have uh, our QA department. Uh, so obviously a very important step with the amount of work that leaves this lab, we need to make sure it's the top quality. Okay, so this is where the journey begins uh, at S4S. So work arrives in the, in the lab, whether that's through postage uh, bags, uh, it could be parcels, it could be digital scans. Uh, the work arrives and we essentially allocate it to a coloured box depending on what the kind of work is. So we've got bleaching trays in grey boxes, we've got retainers in reds, so on and so on. Uh, and then we use our system to allocate which tasks need to be done, uh, who needs to do them, and when they need to be completed. So we work in partnership with a whole number of scanning companies. Um, Itero, uh, Three Shapes, Arona, uh, we use Plan Mecca, Medit, uh, Dexis, uh, Neoscan, the, the list is ever growing and it's fantastic for us because we, we accept all those scans. Um, we've seen a shift recently from uh, impression work to digital work uh, and we've seen that, that shift just get larger and larger on the digital side of the business so if you've not got a scanner yet now is probably the time. This is where the traditional work arrives in the lab. Uh, we still do an awful lot of casting. Uh, we're casting uh, in a multitude of stones, uh, depending on the type of application that is uh, going forward. We've got uh, a range of bleaching trays being cast over there. We've got retainers over here. Uh, and this is still responsible for probably about half of the work we receive these days. We do an awful lot of impressions for whitening trays, which are the grey boxes. Uh, but this is still a huge part of S4S and we welcome all types of work, whether that is digital or the more traditional method of impressions. This is where the 3D printing uh, happens and gets sorted. Uh, so we've, we're absolutely chock-a-block full of digital cases at the moment. Uh, it's early on in the day, so this is where a lot of the models get sorted allocated to, uh, to jobs and then they, they find their way into the main production. Uh, we're going to go into the, the 3D print room, it is under red light, um, just to allow the team to uh, have, have time to work with models, so it, it's quite sensitive resin to daylight, uh, which is why it's under red light. Thank you. So we've got, a, we've got a whole range of machines in here, uh, we've got some of the new Hagears machinery, we have photocentric machines, form lab machines, some more form lab machines over there. And really we're, we try to be as innovative as we can, get hold of new technology when it becomes available. 
This is our whitening department. We do an awful lot of whitening trays, around about a thousand per day. Uh, and we're doing a range of uh, the boutique whitening trays and we also manufacture our own to, to our spec, which is a peer-reviewed paper uh, done designed by Matthew Everett and David Breton. Uh, and if I can show you a little more closely, um, you'll notice every, every tray is is scalloped around the edge to give it an ultra tight seal to provide uh, prevent any sliver ingress uh, and to make sure the gel stays where it needs to be uh, and we use uh, dosing reservoirs to ensure the patient knows exactly how much gel to be placed uh, on each tooth. So this is Smile Line and this is our treatment planning uh, department. We do everything in-house uh, and that's right from the, the receipt of the impressions or the scans right through to the very end of the manufacturing of the aligners. So all of our treatment planners are GDC registered qualified technicians uh, because we want the best results possible. Okay, so this is the dispatch department. Uh, in a lab this size, dispatching over a thousand cases per day, it's really important that we have traceability and we know where everything is at all times. We need to know where the job is in production, who's touched it last, what needs to be done still and when it needs to leave crucially to make sure we don't miss any appointments. So you'll notice throughout the, the rest of this video that every job is barcoded, meaning that we know exactly where it is uh, and where it, where it needs to go. Okay, so being so reliant on IT in a, in a business this size, we, we have got our own IT department who deal with everything to do with coding the system with barcodes, talking with other uh, third party companies about API coding to help things run a bit more efficiently and smoothly. So we really, really do rely on our IT department. We've covered the analog or traditional side of the business. Um, this is the route that our digital cases take. So. Maybe not everyone's uh, fully aware of the work that has to go into a digital file to make it print. Um, so we have a, a team in here who, who solely uh, prepare files for our 3D printers. That includes uh, sometimes a little bit of client education if they've got a brand new scanner and they're not quite sure how to get the most out of it. Uh, but, but typically we, we really have to get our models perfect to give the best quality product we can. Thanks for coming to check out S4S, uh, seeing what goes on behind the scenes and how everything works. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you soon.